Hi Annalise, my name's Kirsty. Thanks for coming today to help us to uh, show what happens when you have a sweat test. Why would anyone need this test? Well, the doctors can ask for this test when people are coughing a lot, or they've got lung infections, or they're not growing very well, or they've got loose and pale poo. And it helps the doctors to diagnose cystic fibrosis or to rule it out. Does the test hurt? Well, it shouldn't hurt, but it might feel a wee bit warm and tingly on your arm. So, we're going to put these two bands onto your arm, but first I need to wash your arm. Okay. okay. And I need to put my gloves on as well. Okay. Then we're going to put this jelly on. Just going to put this one and turn your arm around again. I'm going to put this one up here. And then this is just going to hold it on nice and tight. And this one goes down here. Now we're ready to start the machine. And now it might feel a wee bit warm and tingly. So we've put these on your arm to make your arm sweat and they just need to stay on for about five minutes. Okay, how does it feel? It feels a bit strange and tingly. But it doesn't hurt? No. Good. That's the machine finished now. And then I'm just gonna pop this one off and I need you not to touch your arm now. See it's left a wee red mark? There we go. And we'll just pop these up here out the way. And now we've got to wash your arm five times and dry it five times. Is that cold? Mm -hmm. Now, we can put our little collection device on and it looks a wee bit like a watch and it's just going to go on to your arm like that we're going to strap it on it might feel a wee bit tight but that's just so that we can get all that sweat collected up into there now would you like a bandage to cover it up okay yeah so put a wee bandage on how long does it take it takes about 20 minutes for us to collect your sweat. Sometimes we need to wait a wee bit longer to get a bit more. And sometimes people need to come back another time to have the test done again if we don't get any sweat. Do you do this test on babies or teenagers? Yep, we do it on babies, teenagers, and sometimes grown-ups as well. Should we go out to the waiting room and you can wait with mum? Okay. Right, let's go this way. take your bandage off first and then if you turn your arm round you can see you've got some sweat and there's a dye in there to make it blue so your sweat isn't normally blue and then this is clever I'm going to pop this out and gently pull it out there we go And then we can take this off. I've got a bit of blue on my own. You do have a bit of blue and that will wash away later. And that redness will fade away as well. And that's the test finished. When would you normally give the results? So this will be analysed as soon as possible and the doctor will be in touch with you about the results. Okay. How do you think that went? It's good. Do you have any more questions? No, thank you for filming with us today. You're very welcome, thank you for coming.